you can continue. You can start now, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Um. Okay. So I should start with. I think I, I can show my slide. Okay. For you, for you can see. Oh, and um, I'm I'm sorry I, I didn't send you like the 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 translation. No, um, it's okay. Part of 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 my conversation with with the professor. I think I, I didn't think it it took this much time to do it. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I'll, I, I'll send it I, to you later, and, and also the other conversation with um, with a um, theater students that that have been talking, talking to them. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is so cool. <laughs> okay, I will share my screen here. Right. Okay. So, um, can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay, um, so after I've been talking to you last time, the most, um, like one of the, the problem that I've been dealing with is, is the question form, right? So I, I, I just, like after you advise me to just, um, just go crazy with it, just play with it and, 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 and just playing with the imagine imagination of, of of the question and and the story that have been researched and so um before i go to the question form i wanted to show you some pictures that have been um talking to people and and these two are um the theater students that have been interviewed them mm. about the um, acne and, um we have such a really good and great and interesting conversation that um, I asked them about um, how it's like to deal with the um, uh, skin problems on the stage. And, and they are not only um, the performer, but they also um, the production team because they have to work in the various um, 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 positions in, 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 in theater. Mm -hmm. They also are... Uh, they also are the, the the director. They also working as a make uh, makeup artist in the team. They also working for the stage and everything. So so it's it's really nice to talk to them because because they could give me an example or the stories or experience in a different perspective because they have been working in um, many positions in 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 the theater and um. They were they were like talking about the experience of having acne because like both um both of two were um they were cast casting they they, they, they used to cast for the play on the on the television too not just only for the theater which which after that they were giving me an expressions on on um, having acne in the in in the film industry or or in the entertainment industry that is really hard it's mm. it's not easy and sometimes having acne make them really feel stressful and sometimes when they were in the positions of of the production they always concerned about the actor who have acne because they have to get rid of it they have to cover them with with the um with um makeup and everything and um actually i have um the other the other one he is a director that that he is the last year student now and they have to work with his project and and his position is is director so um all of th uh, three of them have the um relation like, like they have the same word that they always you know um speak out and and always um came out of, 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 of our conversation is about the appearance and the appearance that that um, really involved with the audience and at the appearance of people in in, in, in the um, entertainment industry also theater is always um, the biggest ideal the biggest um, beauty part that that lurk um, the audience to 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 come in. It's it's involved with the money. It's involved with um, it's involved with with the attractions or 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 when when they have like they told me like sometimes when they have to work with the main car characters, 
it's always have to be someone who have a very clear skin or a looking good type or you know like a people that 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 we could see you know on television just always have to be people like that because sometimes these type of of facial this type of features of of the uh, main characters can bring more audience and and like one things that that they that they told me is very interesting is that when when there is a main characters have to be a very important roles on the play the others role always have to be some problems on their face or probably something that 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 will lower lower their appearance for for the main characters to shine on the stage which Agne is one of them one of the one of the problems at and and Agne always um caused um actors actress or 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 the team feel stressed about the appearance on the stage too and um so so the details oh, i'm sorry about the, the 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 sounds of of the of the motorcycle around um and um the other thing is that um i some sort of like um like like our conversations actually turn circle like at the at first like i asked many questions about you know not just only acne but about other other stuff but but when we were talking the conversations is going were going on and and at the end we just go back to the beginning that the appearance and everything that that shows on 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 the skins could could you know make privilege could could it talk about beauty standard beauty privilege and and all of the stuff in contemporary time especially when the time that we always um watched um series or or we are online and we see people on instagram and everything that the 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 ideal beauty like us as a young people we feel that we could get into something perfect and and it could fulfill us and some that that, that is that was the conversation that that's really interest me the most in this and um and then i were i i i i i was talking to them and then i was just go back a little bit into where i came from from the from the very beginning of this project and um it's lead me to the question form of how i can create it a form that that would lead people to the place that they could put their imagination on 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 the process of my work so um as you could see these these are people who were who were um you know um participate on 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 the questionnaires or, or question form and um this is the photos of acne and 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 all of the ideas that that i were um told you about the extraterrestrial or or you know the aliens or some sort of like a cycle or circle the form that related to acne those circle those ancient things does a time or outside of our world have some sort of like the connection and also if as you could see this um symbol is from the movie called arrival like this circle this language these things like it's really interesting on why these organic circle form are related to so many things from the ancient to now today and when we see outside of the world it is I, I just I just felt like I see these these form is really it's really lead me to to the place where I like could think about hope or I could think about like how um these ideas or this form can go so and then after I I see these um Im images it's link me it leads me to to the ideas the keyword and everything's 
so um so here here it's like um as you could see that these um words these um ideas that 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 i always said and i always told others about my work what's the keyword and the stories behind it and what i think about it it just came out of these word this idea and 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 it's going circle like like i repeatedly speak about it and um and and after i find these um vocabs and ideas and when i placed it on on the screen i didn't put the link or I didn't um, put like the line that that direct them from place to place, or it's not just only like a mind mapping of of my ideas, but I just see the words floating around. Each words connect to each others, like whole stories are connecting, and and it like I just felt like acne problems or or this. It's not just only the things that we are you know like dealing with now but these have history like thousands of years but but act like acne vulgaris never go away and there is connection from each people because not just only me but others have acne people around the world have it and i see the cycle the cycle of cure the cycle of struggle money and and like we as like you know, kids who have been having a um, acne problems for many years, like we have hope that one day it will go away. And and when I found the idea of extraterrestrial intelligence, there is another hope. Like as you could see, the hope is all around. And when it's come to the extraterrestrial intelligence, I just felt like maybe I just imagine it. Like maybe one day if we find if we find them, they may have some technologies that could help us. Like I, I sort of kind of like having this idea, like after I, 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 I talk to you, this give me like a very huge pictures of how the question would go. So this is the, um, the outcome. So this is the outcome of, of um, the, um, the question form. As you could see, I already sent you like this is the um the the cover of the trifold, and this is the backside that um I sort of have some some um uh words uh, uh sentences uh sentence, and um here is the question part. Um, it is a trifold, so like um this first um this first area the first page is the personal question here so at the, at like the very beginning like like of of making these um things i actually don't really know exactly where to go or which is the right question to be asked so i actually first starts with this with this particular questions which is from choices below, do you think which one of these can cure acne vulgaris? So it it came up with symbol, a pictures of 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 you know like I sort of think that they were they actually are all of the data that have been researched and all of the conversation that have been talking not just only to the target but also from you from the team, also from 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 people who who were. Who were asked about my my um, my um, uh, project? So um, and these particular questions and these symbols lead me to the other questions. And then I just think that this trifle is really is really like a really good um, samples for me to talk about the um, process that I've been working. I start with um, something very science, um, um, sort of like a very, um, how to say, it's, it's fact, it's science, it's something that, 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 you know, people can prove. 
which is I put it in the first page. It's the personal question is asked about their fact. Is their gender, their sex in a medical term, their age, their blood type, their skin type. So and then I just move to the second page. So the second page is the page that I combine all of like these um a little of the fiction, a little of science together in in the second page, which it should with it would lead people from from the very first um scientific things to something that is almost into the fiction in the second page. So you can see the question here. The first question is have you ever given up or already gave up on curing acne? And the next question is how acne affects your life. And then I started to have a little fiction here. What message do you want to tell acne? Do you know Demodex? So if you don't, or if you know, if you can contact the Demodex civilization, what would you do? And then it's starting to have a little bit more of like the weirdness into the question. Do you think having acne is a fortune, uh, is, is an unfortunate or not? And these lead me to the last page, the last question before before it 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 ends. Um, so I I ask them that if we can contact aliens, do you think that advanced technologies can cure acne? And then it come to the last question here that all of the um the um, participants they will they will work on. So I think these symbols is actually everything that have been working it's come to this language it's come to these symbols that that people were interact they 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 like what they shows is it's actually telling some narrative and and something all of this so like these symbols like actually at first it really came out of my my um how to say inst instinct and then I um, I was I went to um, Banak last day like last two days and and were talking with the teams and I showed them my um, my um, sketchbook it's, it's like the book that I have all of the lectures from the very beginning to the end so so I, I will show you here um, where is the file I have to find it First, I, mm. so um, this is like my sketchbook and like the 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 file of it's um I I scan it so I put them together in in one page so I can I will zoom in for you to see um it's a little bit like can 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 you can you see this page yeah. 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 Uh, here, yeah, I think not just only. I at first I thought these symbol were out of my instinct, but actually after I talked to the I I, I talked with the team, they they really dis they discovered this um, um book that I that I that I sort of put all of the information here, and and they said that maybe these symbols actually from this. From what I've been searched for, like the whole process and months of 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 dealing with the science data and and conversation with others, lead me to this form. So here, there is like a form of atom, a form of bacteria, and um, as you could see, I first starts with um, this thing, like like um the the very the very beginning of the last question. I I I drew this. I draw this these um, objects and then I think it it's too realistic so I sort of move into into um, this like these symbols um, I'm not really sure that it <laughs> it's not really good quality I'm really sorry I, I send you I, I send um, this file to you after after our call and um and the next part is is become this and at the end it just only these symbols here so after i went to the field this is the result of 
of um, the number of people who shows um, symbols here. Um, as you could see, the the um, what people shows the most is is this symbol is eighty six percent or it's twenty one out of thirty one shows these organic sort of like form that link to plants and organic things, and the others. It's like a very low um, numbers of people who shows it. Circle have three is ten percent, and the rectangle it's no not rectangle like the um yeah the rectangle it's three percent and the stars is three percent. It's just only like one number of people who shows it, and the um this I don't know what it's called in English like the the six like these these symbol have zero number. And um, yeah, like like as you could see, most of people shows this symbol, shows this symbol particularly. And um, this is what I get now. And my next move is to work with materials and the art piece. I work with um, the size of, of the way to installation in X space. And I work with the book or scene that that I were um, talking about the um, the fiction or stories that all of all of those um, data is, and um, and I have to find out next that what are those symbols trying to say? Why people, why people shows like this like symbol the most? And um, Actually, this is everything, and um, I, I at the end of, after I have been thinking about what the outcome of the work or the end product will look like, I think that I'm not going to work with the um, performance anymore. Um, first of all, is because of the COVID here, it's getting more serious, and we have another phase of of the COVID spread. So I think um, working with people's maybe not a good choice and um the second is that i think actually this trifle is actually my wrap top it's 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 i think i think this is like every i think this form this question form it's my how to say it's like the final ideas of what i wanted to talk or what i wanted to to say to the audience and things like that and this is almost everything that I could think of now. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting progress. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Have to. Have you have you record like while while you interviewing? Yeah, yeah, I do. I I I am planning to send you all. Hmm. I'm planning to send you all in English after after we finish this conversation because I need a little bit of time to um, to translate it into English. Mm. Yeah. Mm, but it's okay. I mean, it must take a lot of time. But I, the reason why I ask, because I'm just wondering maybe uh, when you say because of the COVID that you are not, maybe it's not a good idea to have performance yeah like in a form of like gathering people together yeah perhaps i don't know maybe you can use the sound that you record ah. as i don't know kind of performative material from those sounds yeah maybe. Combined with the the symbol that you, uh, uh, the symbol that you choose, mm. maybe I'm not, not so sure, but something that you you may want to consider. Okay, the sounds of the conversation. And um, yeah, and um, well, actually, from time to time, I was lost 
a lot. I mean, I mean, like, like after after I I finished um, those question form and 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 I went to the field and I asked and talked to people who I I, I gave this trifle to them. You know, like new ideas away popped up like like every time I I I have done something. And this is actually like one of the problems that I always like have to find a way and I don't really know mm. how because like every time when I got new materials it's just it just put me to other ideas and 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 it's lead me to to something else and I can't stop like like I don't know where to stop searching something. Mm. <laughs> like yeah. Mm. Yeah. Or I was uh your presentation there's a slide like oh. you put all those keywords. Yeah. Uh I it you reminds me a tool, like online tool that maybe I can send here. Okay. It's also kind of like 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 mind mapping, but oh. this tool can allow you to connect because the the keyword that you show you just put the keyword itself individually. Yeah. But perhaps this tool sometimes it also help me like to find a connection between oh. keywords and ideas. You can link link all the dots. Can you can you see? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah. So 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 the, the, the link that you send me, like I I can move thing around myself too? Uh yes, yes. You can move. You can oh, move. It's so and cool. you can zoom in and zoom out. And this this is the the concept of one curator in Taiwan. But oh. I mean if you want to use the tool you can go here. I think it's free. It's a free tool. Oh. And you can create your map and networks. So, I mean, because now you're trying to connect so many different things and also from micro to macro yeah. scale. So it feels like you are kind of imagining or creating a kind of a universe or a constellation of different things. So, yeah, sometimes for me it it help to I would say like to rethink to be somehow more close to what I'm trying to approach. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'll 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 try to I I'll play with it. It's really cool, actually. I really yeah. love that, that 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 we as an audience can like move things around like. By ourselves, yeah. Because in many times, for me, even for myself, my thoughts while I'm how to say like process any project or artwork, I found myself the idea is not so linear. It's not a straight line. Like I'm going from one place to another, like one destiny. But yeah. I'm more like thinking and building a network of ideas. So, yeah, this kind of tool always helpful. Mm. Especially, yeah, it's not the like. Especially, it's difficult to write like only in a sentence or paragraph, like yeah. very linear description. So, mm. yeah, maybe a form. A way of thinking could help. So yeah, maybe. So that means here I would suggest at least one part. You can go back to your keyword again. Yeah. And use different tool. Try to map and connect all the keyword, all the dots. Okay.
Yeah, sure. Um, so, um, what if? Uh, so, like, if, um, so, like, af after, so, like, after, like, like, do you think, like, after I found the tools and the right tools, do I still need to experiment on it before the end product will 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 come up or or i should um how to say um i should like like limit the tools because because of the times it's almost mm. close to to the exhibition mm. opening and and it's almost the time to install or or like or i can still sort of working with these fragments a little bit and and Created some maybe illustration first to for mm. me to see or or because because um because I think those form were really interesting and and you told me that maybe you know put some sounds or or some things that if possible or if it's if it's um it's if it's went well together and um I I I, I plan to work with with the, the scene and the book. Which I think this mind map and idea and word maybe I can I can put the image of that into the book or the scenes and 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 maybe the book it's actually the place where I can experiment with the ideas or or the stories and what what do you think about mm. me in, on the scenes that yeah could be could be but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if yeah it can be book or other things ah. because book is also very linear ah. way of like reading right yeah you, you yeah. turn the page from like, the first and the second to oh. the end but it's also quite linear so but I don't know if there are other way that Mm. how to say like to present your your brain like your 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 thoughts but maybe on on the paper like in a paper format but different from book what if it's like a, a fold a folding that 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 like when when you when you open it it's it's like sort of spread like oh i don't know how to explain in english or <laughs> I'll 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 try to find the pictures and 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 send it to you right now. Yeah, could be. Actually, I folding. Yeah, could be. I think I have some YouTube. Uh... Something like. You mean. Some... No. origami right yeah 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 origami. i um i send you a link that mm. i found on pinterest here something like um something like this wait how can i mm. okay. or mm. Mm, yeah, could be. Yeah, that would be more interesting as a form. Oh, so playing with the form of 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 this print. Mm, it's yeah. Maybe a way to explain. Ah, could be. Okay. Could be. Let me find. So, so do you think like as I plan the story, the story that that I will put in 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 that maybe folding things, mm. like like at first I was really confused and and I was really like concerned that how can I really tell the story or or how can I really put all of the ideas into that? So, like right now I just I just. Do you think I should just 
play with it. Like I don't have to be worried about it anymore. Just, just, just sort of kind of like um, bring those ideas and play with it and and just sort of express it on that print. Mm. And the main, like the main piece or like the main ideas is actually on the sculptures or or the two dimensional. Um, materials that I will hang on the wall of the, of those that that were from that are from those symbols. Mm. So the the tri like the folding part the origami things is is it's actually just some things that could lead to narrative or things and stuff. Mm. Like, do you think it it would work? Mm. Maybe just. I mean, harder to have it. <laughs> you're. In, I mean, instead of like, if we instead of seeing artwork as a, like storytelling or concept telling, things, the thing, the, what you are trying to do now, is to open, this pos the possibility to the audience. Ah. I mean, they can reconnect different the the dots that you offer yeah and create the story of their own so you give them like fragments of your study and research but to open a certain part to allow audience to like they're, they're playing puzzles I, I feel it's something like that. Ah. I see. Ah. Okay. Maybe. Mm. Let me find Mm. Still like the, I, I like the, how to say, the icon mm. that you, you, you create. Mm, it's interesting, but um, at the same time, I also feel like I wonder if I'm audience, I might feel a bit confused, like why why are these pattern and symbols appear and why how many of them like six, uh it's seven? seven seven i'll i'll send you i'll send you the photos right away wait where is it mm. they, um, and how mm, if you are going to put those symbol in the like in your work or exhibition, mm. how to build the connection or narrative yeah. behind behind the symbol. That is the part that is really hard for me too because actually this this kind of work it's quite new to me because I always have so many fragments on the work. I always have many elements and, and I really tell story as it's like a, a linear narrative or things like that and, mm. and working like this is really new it's something that i've never done before too but it's really excited me because because it's like a really it's, it's like a turning point for me to go from from you know someone who talks a lot 
into a place where I sort of kind of like shorten it or 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 more of like like I don't know how to say but it's probably a good experience for me to work like this but it's really hard because it's new to me mm -hmm. work with something quite minimal or yeah yeah formal formalism mm -hmm. stuff um I send you I send you the pictures of my my uh here what the link mm -hmm. is... yeah Open. oh also he have like a big sculptures of the form yeah he's uh i don't know um i guess a designer and he was playing and creating different shape and forms that can um i'll say like transforming from one to another oh. Oh. and he used a lot of um, like origami technique mm -hmm. in his design yeah so i yeah maybe maybe you can um have a look it's quite interesting mm. Actually, I have a YouTube, but in Mandarin, uh, a YouTube about him, in Mandarin, but speaking uh -huh. English. Okay, I try to watch. Ah, uh, so he explained about his work. Spear. Yeah. It's one of the most the idea, like how he create. I the, think. Uh, uh, sphere would be transforming form and a lot of what i do is about this concept oh. going there's so many different possibilities adaptive what is the motivation of it what is what are the motors or the forces I'm going to put on air pressure now oh. okay and you'll and a lot of what i do Oh, it seems so complex. <laughs> mm. And the symbol you create also, you know, remind me of one of the artist's work. Let me see if I can find. Yeah, you remind me a um, female, a French female artist. I don't know why, but <clears throat> the first time I, I, I see the, oh. the symbol you create, it just pop, pops up, remind me this artist. Oh. What is the materials that she were working? It is a painting or? Yeah, it could be painting and let's say threads, like mixed material, very mixed. Oh. And one of his work, uh, her work, let me. Oh, it's really cool, like, how... This one, uh, the red one in Venice. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's a theater, actually, for me, it's a theater, but with no, without, without person or people. Uh -huh. She built a stage with a red kind of fabric. And you will see all the symbol that how to say, dropping or like moving from the ceiling. Oh. Somehow when, when I when I see your 
um, the symbol that you create will just directly remind me of this. But mm. I don't mean that you need to um, follow this form or something, but yeah. but the thing that remind me it's because this work she she treat those symbol and uh, for me it's like a character on the stage yeah. and somehow even though I, i'm not sure if she put the sound but somehow when the symbol moves it, i feels like they are talking to me in certain way mm. Yeah, like the player on the stage, but without human. Wow. Are these masks? Uh, no, not, not really mask. Ah, it's more not like a mask, symbol. Or... Just pattern, yeah. Just... Oh. It's really beautiful, though. I really yeah, love it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's... Yeah, it's really looking good. Does it smell in, in, in the space? No, no. Just like lighting, lighting and sound and wind. Ah. What is the red material like like on the ground? Just fabric. Oh, it's fabric. Yeah. At first I thought it was like Sands or like the red, like pigment or something. Mm, just, no, just fabric. Oh. But with the wind blowing, oh. so it will like have a wave. It create a wave of the red fabric. But mm, yeah. Uh, so for now I suggest or like recommend you maybe like first back to your keyword yeah and try to like reconnect all those dots into like create your own map yeah for universe and yeah secondly maybe just work on the material that you from your interview the sound and the context and then transforming into installation or exhibition with the like all the symbol that you create like those symbol it's like a the hint the mm. hint that how to say invite like invite the audience into your your world mm. Mm, I think because because it is like wh when it was in in yeah. the question form, the the it's easy for for the audience to understand because I lead them with question before it's come to the end. Mm. So that symbol, it's the end questions. Mm -hmm. But when it's come to like the exhibition or or the gallery room, mm. those or be those symbols became the first questions. Yeah. That that lead people to the other fragments and mm. yeah and could be or like the gate each different symbol became like a different door that invite audience go see what's behind them mm. yeah could be yeah and it makes me feel so struggle with with how 
they like which direction I should link them to like because because like as you say when it's just only those symbols it's maybe make people feel so confused with where to go what to do and what it's about or or maybe that's it's something interesting I don't know mm. it's quite hard for me though to to like because I always have many like things. Yeah. And when when it just only like to grab something and just to show that out, it's really like like even me sometimes as like me myself personally when I see something very conceptual or something very minimal or formalisms i get confused myself yeah. too when i when i see those piece of art but but like i said before this turning point is really excited me to to try to work with with this but it's hard mm. <laughs> yeah yeah true true yeah i feel the same all the time <laughs> <laughs> but when it's come to the end like how you manage to to deal with it like do you have like a certain certain methods or or maybe it's it really depends on the situations the ideas the data and the space yeah, for me, it, it depends. It really depends. Every time, it will be quite different. Yeah. I don't really use like the same format and repeat those format. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, and also the space is really small. Mm, mm. The space is just, it's so small and, and we have three artists and, um, oh, okay. And this, um, the space for the, um, the document, the documentaries of, of this program, mm. which, which I can't really create it so many like materials mm. in the exhibition room mm. oh, so you, you need to share with two other yeah. artists yeah yeah i need to share with them mm. which is i think the sound maybe maybe not possible mm. to, to be because because the room is just so small like uh, i see yeah the sound. Mm. Oh. No, I, I send that sentence is from a book. A, a novel, actually. It is the novel or it's a uh, short story. Ah. Yeah, it's a, it's a book. But um, yeah, I feel every time when I. Um, how to say like creating my work I always feel I'm creating like the, a garden that with the forking pass mm. yeah you might get lost in in I don't know in my work or audience might get lost in your work but in each during the during the past or in every corner they will find something Mm. Oh. Oh. 
Messi. Do you think I should try to find the meaning of that of those symbols? Like why people shows them or or how do they relate it to to some things that involves with to cure the acne or mm-hmm. at least to make them feel that this could cure their problems or or their disease. Mm. Oh, I just leave it like that. Just don't bother it. Just let it be a space for others to. I guess there you you still need to. Um, how to say? Describe it in certain way, certain level. Yeah. Yeah, but you're not giving a. Uh, the only definition of the symbol, ah. but instead there. Are multiple um, reaction mm. the symbol right yeah. <clears throat> mm. you mentioned that the building is not so big but are yeah. you able to use like the outside of the building or the the wall of the building like outside yeah i'm not sure i have to ask first like do they allow to to have some things outside? Yeah. I'm not sure because because that's because that area have there are many trees mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it's very windy uh, and it's rain oh. around this this month this I season. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. like mm. it depends like like we like i like we cannot really tell it is going going to rain or not but but like i i see they have a little like things that could cover from the rain i will ask first mm. that that do they allow to use the space outside or not mm-hmm. yeah. okay and Maybe the last thing that um, I would like to mention is that because at the beginning you you start from the acne and how it affects to individuals. Yeah. But you also mentioned this acne how it affects to like in a so- social level. Yeah. While they interact with others. And how oh. <clears throat> how the people with acne, um, how to say, place themselves in the society, how people treat them dif- differently, and how the society see them differently. So, I feel there's a you are from very micro scale, like on your skin, on your face, with and the demo decks, and how it think to individuals and how the individual became like uh, let's see, group of the individual yeah. and how and then the next level will be the like society the social level but now i'm not sure how you gonna connect all this to from micro to macro scale and I'm not sure now seems in in your work your lack of the social level like mm-hmm. the wider and macro scale yeah mm. Mm, like like the conversation of me and the team last day like when you mentioned this i i i I think about the effect of the materials that i'm going to use Mm. that it's maybe have to reflect the audience Mm -hmm. Do, do you think that that the reflections or 
or the um the effects of reflections as a mirror mm. that could sort of put the audience into the work and they could see uh, themselves hmm, from the could, space that that could maybe you mean maybe, they kind of participate yeah in your work it's maybe a little effect it's, it's maybe like the surface but 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 that maybe the, the way to 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 lead to the social level of how they see themselves mm. not just only them but people inside the galleries mm, mm, are connected mm. to the work into the mm. work and they could see not just only them but but when there are more what like more than one people in in the space like the pictures or the reflections of their face and their body just <coughs> um mm. just show on the wall and the blackness of the materials could could you um could metaphor to 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 some meanings mm. Mm. yeah could be but how how they how to invite him. Yeah. Mm. That's, yeah, that's like the very yeah. best part, like I've been thinking too, like how to invite him to, to think, to maybe like lead them to that. Do you think the name of the work may, may help? Mm, the name? Yeah, like, mm. like somehow they, they may have to read statements somewhere in in, in 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 the space and the, and the word on the like the name of the piece yeah it might help but still no. I, I i guess you also you may also prefer to make it more i don't know beautiful Oh. Are you inviting someone to, I don't know, uh, to a dinner? You have many ways. You can just text them, hey, let's go dinner. But you can also have romantic way or multiple way like to, to approach someone, right? So yeah. now the audience is someone you try to approach um, or to propose. Mm. Yeah, you. I don't know. Maybe you would like to have some other way that instead of just asking, "Hey, yeah. come, you should you should join," but there find other way, I guess. Mm. By them beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> But I still have time to think about it, so I try. <laughs> I try my best. Yeah. Mm. The <laughs> 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 oh wow, you appear. <laughs> that was cool. Um, how to do yeah. that? The, the the how to do this grouping? Um, it's um, the one. <laughs> Nice. You just add another call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like like you 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 can see you can see like the the, the okay. symbol of like a little man and a plus <laughs> next to his head when you add and when there another call join so there will appear like this. Mm. Um, nice. Yeah. nice. Very very. We feel so strange with the the image they use here. <laughs> Yeah. Good. <laughs> so um yeah uh it was really interesting um the micro and macro dimension within the work and the um yeah uh thank you so much for um wrapping up i mean finding way how to play with the big database Mm. This is what the artistic research uh, artists always have to confront. Um, and also how to transform the, um, um, the database into a form or a certain approach. Um, the sound or the, um, 
even the folding um, papers. Mm. And uh, yeah, I'm also impressed uh, the way you share the difficulty uh, between both of you. Um, um, yeah, and and how I um, observe your intimacy that we can create through this online um, meeting. Um, yeah, and and also I I I have I I'm very interesting uh, interested in the uh, getting lost um, uh, subject that you two mentioned. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's very interesting for moth and and the uh, the symbols actually and the getting lost. This this can be really connect to your interest, the terrestrial um, realm, or this is like a terrestrial uh, symbols that audience may have to confront with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, exciting to to see your next <laughs> development. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, so, I know. Um, the next meeting, the official one, will be around 17th of January. January. Yes. 17th. Yeah. Okay. And we we really look forward that there could be the um, archive exhibition on the 5th of February, mm -hmm. uh, because why I'm saying this because yeah, the, the situation in, in Thailand is not so good at the moment. You mean the COVID? Yeah. Yes. Uh. So I'm hoping that the exhibition is still on the same date. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, mm. But anyway, you two can still continue. Uh, yeah. Yeah. With your own chatting or email. Yeah, sure. Sure. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much, you. everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah. <laughs> yes, have a nice day. See you next week. Thank you. Uh, see you next time. Okay.